Hey everyone, Navy Doc 5184 here. Welcome to another music reaction. Today we're reacting to Yana Anka Danuba and uh, she is performing a song called May Boy. So one of the things that I've really got to point out before we even get started is she has been quite a revelation. In fact, honestly, the only reason that I even started reacting to her in the first place is because I want to say back in 2021 i believe it was um in honor of march madness i decided to do a bracket style fan vote tournament over um who uh people on my channel thought was the best vocalist and i know i needed to fill in one spot i had had seven vocalists already but i couldn't figure out an eighth one to do and um i think i did like a vote where it was like other and she had gotten on there and she had a uh, one out you know so unfortunately and i'm really only attributing this to that at the time i hadn't done any reactions to her so a lot of people on my channel who, who would have seen my channel um probably weren't really familiar with her so she was put in the first round against angelina jordan and actually got uh beat pretty badly in terms of a fan vote i would imagine that if i did that vote again it would probably be closer um, you know, but again, you know, this is just based on fan voting, you know, I'm not saying who's better one way or another, but, um, honestly, because of the fact that she even made it onto that tournament, I decided that at some point I was going to react to her. It did take a couple of years before I finally did, but I'm really glad that I did because she has been quite a revelation. Her style is not even, I don't even want to say her style, but I think it's just the way her voice is, her singing. Definitely not anything I would have expected to see uh, coming out of her. Um, so it kind of threw me off guard at first, but at the same time, it wasn't like it threw me off guard in a sense that I thought it was bad. I think it was just because it wasn't what I was expecting at all. And, you know, as I've started to react to her more, I've really started to grow more to really appreciate her vocal talents because I think I like the fact that it's just... I guess you could say it's different you know it's not exactly what i would expect and i appreciate the fact that it's different you know and it's just it's special in her own kind of way and i'm never one to try to say who's better than another because i'm always of the feeling that music is very subjective um there's gonna be some people that are touched one way you know like she could do a song and have 10 people listen to it and you'll get 10 different interpretations, 10 different feelings out of it. You know, that's just the beauty of music. So I'm not one to really say, you know, she's better than this person or anything like that. You know, I always try to just really more or less just say they're different and there's nothing wrong with being different. So she has been a joy to react to and apparently you guys have really enjoyed it too. So, and I really thank you all for even, you know, even getting her into my radar. So. Let's go ahead and get started with this reaction. I will leave a link to the original video in the description below. Let's go ahead and get started. Quiero tener por una vez una vida feliz, por eso me voy. Very impressive. Gracias. I'll check to see where this is from. Por todo lo que me diste. Gracias. Ooh, wow. So a couple of things that I just have to say like off the bat without talking over her too much. So I was talking about how very impressive it is. What is really impressing me, and I'm pretty sure y'all have brought this to my attention, you know, just, I know there's a lot of artists out there that are multilingual in terms of the sense that 
um, when they do songs, they'll do it in their native language, but then also English. But now here we got her going in a third language. Well, I'm assuming third language. Um, I don't remember exactly what her um, first language is. I I want to say Russian, but I don't know because I know that there's different types of dialect, I guess, that sound close to it. So I don't necessarily want to say Russian because it could be like Ukrainian, Bulgarian, or, well, maybe not Bulgarian, but you get what I'm trying to say. I just really just don't want to assume just based off my lack of knowledge of, you know, different dialects, but obviously English, you know, and Spanish. So the fact that I'm hearing, you know, multiple you know, let her do multiple languages is impressive. And the fact that she has such great control with her Spanish. But the other thing that I really wanted to point out, which we just heard a little bit there, and I'm sure we'll hear more. Something that's also really impressed me with her is the power that she has. She has some real powerful vocals. I mean, you know, if you all know me, you know, I like to use boxing analogies every now and then. But if you guys have ever seen Rocky Three. Like, I almost see her in a way is kind of like Clubber Lang, whereas Clubber will go for, like, the haymakers, crosses, hooks, and anything like that. He doesn't do little inky-dink jabs. He tries to get you right out the bat. I almost see her doing that because she wastes no time in throwing in those power punches. And, you know, so early on, you just get practically not to the mat, and there's really nothing you can do to combat it because... You know, you're just so used to people, you know, trying to, I guess you'd say, gradually wear you out and not just try to take you out right away. And, you know, if you're not ready for that, you're you're out for the count early. And she is amazing at pulling that off. That is amazing. The mix of power and gentleness. Not too many people can pull that off, but she just did it great right there. I say gentleness, but you look at her, maybe almost like an innocence is a better word. Wow, okay, nice. 
right, everybody. That was Diana Antetonuva performing May Boy, and that was a fantastic performance. I just got done trying to go back to the um, YouTube video to try to see um, if they had some more info about where she was, if it was like an event or anything like that. Um, but unfortunately, the video uh, that I saw, I could have very well easily missed it. Um, but it really didn't show anything. It did talk about a new album, though, which I'm going to have to really uh, check out. But... Despite not really knowing any background of where she's performing or anything like that, I don't think any is necessary. The one thing I gotta say right off the bat though, that, and I say this kind of jokingly because I was gonna say, you know, that I really don't appreciate how she kind of made me look like an idiot because I was talking about right when I did uh, my little intermission, my little pause in between, I was talking about uh, comparing her to Clubber Lang in Rocky 3 where she just goes for like the haymakers and everything try to knock you out. What does she do right after I say that? She gets all soft and gentle and it's just like, oh wow, you just made me look like an idiot. But you know what? It's all good. Again, and that's something that just really impresses me. It's, I guess you could say it's her command. You know, the fact that she can go from just having absolute power to being absolute gentle. And I think I even used the word innocence at one point. And then she can just go right back to just having like absolute power. It's amazing the command that she has to be able to do that so seamless. And, you know, I think that's probably one of those things that I, th you know, think that, you know, her fans have really love about her is, I mean, she's definitely very unique. There's no getting around that very unique talent. And, you know, there aren't too many voices and vocalists I've heard that are like her. And that's really saying a lot, you know, that somebody so young can be so easily distinguished. There aren't too many artists that can do that. You know, like I would say probably out of the new artists, well, I say new um, loosely because um, two of these artists I've been reacting to for years. But when I think about, you know, artists that you know, I haven't listened to before, but then I start listening to now after I've done these reactions that when I listen to them, it's like, if I know nothing about them outside of maybe like one song I've heard from them is like, I think of Deanna Ankadinova, Angelina Jordan and Aurora, like those three right there, all very young. But yet if I was to hear them just anywhere out there, it's like they have very distinguishable voices. And sometimes that's really hard to pull off. I mean, it's amazing, you know, when I think about it, how many times I've heard a song and I'm thinking it's one artist and I learned it's like, oh, that's not them. Like, I think Bush is a great example. There are times I've heard a Bush song and I thought it was like Nirvana. I'm like, oh, this must be a Nirvana song. Like maybe like an unreleased that they just released. And then I'm like, oh no, it's just Bush, you know? And then there's other, um, you know, artists that I can't even tell you how many times, you know, I've gotten them mixed up with others, but it's like with these three, these are just the first three that came to my head is you hear them and there is no mistaking who they are. And that really says a lot to not just talent, but I think that's something a lot of people, I don't want to say a lot of people nowadays, because, you know, you could probably even say that to some older groups too, but sometimes you just get people where it's like they sound great, but they don't have voices that distinguish them like you can't listen to them and be like you hear a song and you know instantly that that's them you know what i mean you don't have that problem with the artists i just mentioned and that's why i think makes them so great but like i said she is definitely i would say a new category for me and i am all here for it and i really owe all that to you you guys are the ones that introduced her to me Probably would have never even given her a shot had somebody not even brought her up. So thank you all for that. Um, she's been such a joy to react to and I'm looking forward to getting the more reactions done with her. But uh, all that being said, in the meantime, feel free to check out some of my other reactions to her. Um, thank you all for stopping by. I hope you all enjoyed this particular reaction and I will catch you all down the road.